Hi everyone, I'm Denise and I'm back to do another reading for Donald John Trump and this one is for Thursday, August 27th and the top row, remember I'm going to draw five cards for what he's doing maybe we won't see it in the public but this is this will be for what he's doing for the day and I'm doing this so that maybe we can be protected and then this bottom row is what his karma will be that has been accruing you know along the lines uh, along his lifetime and uh, possibly whether or not uh, he could be changing it or turning it around don't ever see any signs of that but you know I have to leave it open to free will but anyway, so his actions and then reactions and karma. Okay, so for his actions for the day, this might possibly be the morning, you know, and then the theme and then the afternoon, or sometimes it's just a message for the entire day. Okay, and then the five cards for his karma. what he'll be receiving based on his actions in his past. Okay, so for his actions, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Of course, he always has his hand out for more money. He'll do anything to win. His motto is, you know, winning at all costs. He cannot stand to lose. So, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, which has to do with, you know, keeping, keeping the luxury in his life that he, that he wants. He'll do anything to, do, to get that. Uh, two of Wands. Uh, possibly traveling. The, you know, he, he travels every day, so I don't see that as any big deal, but, uh, or any, you know, news. <laughs> but uh, this could be speaking with someone in a foreign land, making plans making plans about how to keep more money in his coffers, get more money into his coffers. And then the King of Wands, which has to do with him, you know, trying to have domination over the world. That, that's, that's pretty much his MO. His karma is legal. We have the King of Swords. His karma is to go insane because he's already halfway there, right? He's coming from complete delusion. This is a card of mental illness, one of the cards of mental illness, but the main card of mental illness. His karma is to act hastily, uh, arrogantly. This is what he does. He just, you know, and, and so maybe more people like that will be attracted to him to help feed his insanity. And his karma is to be beaten down with a big stick someday. <laughs> One of my viewers dropped into the comments was a two by four upside the head at some point, right? And his karma is for at some point for him to open his heart. But currently I would say these cards have to do with, a, with tremendous emotional reaction. I leave the cards upright in order to, you know, to let you guys see the images better, but I, I honestly, with him, I have to uh, read them most of the time in the inverted, reversed meaning. So, yes, absolutely, he's got his hand out for more money. That's always the theme for him. And, and the winning at all costs, no matter what, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about anybody else. It's just all of... All about winning, that Five of Swords there has everything to do with, you know, just creating more conflict. It, it's, his, it's his constant, you know, lies and, um, you know, betrayal to other people. He doesn't care about other people. It, it's, it's, it's really awful. And then, of course, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles there in the center, it, you know, it, it can be that he's coming from a place of financial setbacks, that he's fearing financial setbacks. And so from there, you know, he's really trying to, um, he's, he's really trying to focus on the money, which is just, that's what he always does. There's, there's nothing new there. There's nothing new at all. And with the, the, the two of wands, 
as far as, you know, what he's actually doing, right, for the day. Just to dive a little deeper in, into that, it's it's usually just planning, you know, he's planning for the future about financial, and it's winning so that he can keep the finances up, you know. It, it could show that he has a little progress in it, but it also could be just his fear of the unknown, because there's nothing known about this card. This is a card of planning, but it hasn't come in yet. Now with that King of Wands, where you know we're we're looking at his vision for the future, and it's it's facing all of this. So it's all about winning to get the money. I mean, I don't really need to see anything more, say anything more about that, other than in the inverted meaning. If you're studying tarot, this has to do with you know ruthlessness and impulsiveness, as well as this card here. You know, and he's he's attracting this because this is what he's always going after. He doesn't care. This is a card of very you know scattered energy and delays and frustration. If it's if it's inverted, if it's straight up, it's it would be you know still be impulsiveness and arrogance, and you have to be really careful. But he that's not what he does. He does whatever he wants to get what he wants, and he's got these high expectations of being some kind of a you know, dear leader. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. You know, and he, 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 could, he, he could have some vision. He, I mean, he does have plans and he does have vision. We can, we can say that that's true. But, you know, what's it going to get him? What's his vision going to get him? And I would say that he has blocked emotions. I would, I would read this in the uh, inverted sense where where the emotions just don't really go anywhere because he he doesn't he doesn't work on himself. He doesn't do any self-reflection or any soul work. So he needs to experience a defeat in order to heal. I mean, that's the way spiritual law works. If you don't work on yourself, the outer world will do it for you. <laughs> you'll you'll come to your, you know, your what you, what does one of my friends say? Her come to Jesus moments, <laughs> right? When you're on your knees and you're going, oh my God. So hopefully at some point that's where he'll go. But that's, so that's his karma. That is literally his karma is to clear out these blocked and repressed emotions and get into a place of love and compassion. But, you know, there there's also this lack of motivation and if this were reversed and I believe it is for him his karma is you know he's weighed down and there's this lack of of uh, you know motivation to go in any other direction there's no real potential to go in any new direction for him unless he were to tap into it but I just I don't I don't think that he is so I think it's it's just like my viewer said <laughs> it's a two by four upside the head you know that's his karma and this, this, uh, oh my goodness, this um, moon card here, as, as far as, you know, mental illness, it is just, it's, you know, emotions that haven't been explored. It's the unconscious, uh, you know, realm based in fears, paranoia. And because the King of Swords is right next to, right next to him, it has to be, it has to be the law. What else could it be? I, I can't imagine what else that could be. This could also be that he has karma with Bill Barr. That's very possible. Well, of course. I mean, it's obvious, actually. What am I saying? But it's, you know, it's it's very, very manipulative. The, the, the downside of this card, in the negative sense, is that it's abusive. And it's, uh, you know, it's like having a tyrant in charge. Very manipulative, very abusive. If it's, you know, if it is upright, you know, if you're reading this card for yourself someday, it has to do with, you know, with clear thinking and, and you know, your brain working correctly, you know, and being in your authority and in your truth. And, and it could be having a, a, a good attorney on your side. But that's not, that's not the case for him. For him, it's the tyrant, and it, this is Bill Barr. This is just, you know... I don't have anything more to say about it, honestly.
That, that's his karma, and this has been accruing. And I think this is, honestly, I'm going to call it as this is the past and this is the future. So future is a big stick upside the head for him at some point, and, and he gets into his blocked, repressed emotions. So, okay, that's it for today. Thank you guys. Take care.